Hello, welcome to the final station. Last time we reached the city of Bristol with a total of six passengers. Thanks again. Sorry, I need to discuss a few things. It seems nobody here is aware of what's going on. You'll be fine. So you are saying you were bitten by someone? <laughs> oh dear. I know. You've already figured out where it goes. Take your family and save yourself, man. Oh, yeah. You have an order. Okay. I've stopped the bleeding. An ambulance will come soon and we'll take him to the hospital. Your bandage skills are not so good though. Nope! <laughs> Wish I could stop the bleeding. Could have stopped the bleeding. Peace out. Oh, is this music? Okay. Sorry, I have some work to do. Are you going from? Are you going from the north? Is everything okay there? I can't contact them. No. <laughs> Everything's not okay. Isn't it a lovely day? Adam Thornton wants to meet you. It's urgent, he said. Mind your tongue. We owe it all to him. You can keep it too. His office is located at the peak of the Noble Hertz factory. It's seen from anywhere in the city. You can't go wrong. The driver will be waiting for you. <coughs> the driver will be waiting for you to bring you to the factory. I'll print a blank with the code by the time you get back. Okay. So if if you haven't seen the last episode, we kind of nuked a place. Yes, it's kind of like what newspapers. What what do I do what do I do with newspapers? Oh <laughs> the Bristol police under the order of Adam Fortin conducted investigation and confiscated one ton of crashed electrum illegally mined by the Cayman factory as Cayman factory management tried to transport it out of Bristol. <sighs> Remember that any extraction of electrum within the city territory must be licensed and taxed. Too bad that so many years later some individuals still think they can illegally smuggle minerals out of my city. Today's example will remind them what happens in such scams. This belief of an increase in population mortality in the city. Oh dear. I'm telling you, as a scientist, I've heard these stories since the first day of my work in Bristol. There's no benefit to us keeping our people under a poisonous atmosphere. Our goal is for each person mining electrum to live long and happy for life. Oh man. Prices for newspapers are getting higher every day. Information about the outer world will be a luxury soon. You won't get in trouble. Mark my words. He is from the plant. Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Why did you? Why? Wow! Oh! Okay. Why did you run him over? Oh! Excuse me. Jack, is it for you again? Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry, I don't even. Thanks, mate. Phone? Yes, there's a call box on the next street. Oh, I can... Ooh, I know. But first... Hmm? Well, why not? It's not busy for the rest of the day. I'm not busy for the rest of the day. Sorry. So there... We have a new passenger. Thanks, but I'm not interested. And annoy someone else. <laughs> well, 
on you just friendly. Let's see. What is this? An upgrade? Extend laser side extended clip. Ooh. I need these. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, laser sign or extend club. I extend club indefinitely. Okay, let's go over here. Hello, bird. Oh wait, no I can't, damn it. Another visitor. Okay. Are you also t are you also to my grandpa? He is in, but please be quick. And don't ask about sectors. His family suffered a lot at that time. Okay. I'm just gonna raid all your cabinet. <laughs> yes, I caught up to it. The first visit. I often offer to talk about it, but I noticed that hardly anybody really listens to me. I suppose I suppose so many years later nobody needs the true story. I do. <laughs> it all started with capsules. that fell from the sky. One of them fell a, ro a block away from our house. Gas from these capsules somehow affected people. It's good you already know, but there's a detail people often skip. Not everybody felt the same effects from the gas. I don't know what that is. Sorry, I can't talk long. Memoirs. Recollections of the visitation. Everyone who everyone who got across the zone of visitation was treated badly. The very first night, locals burst into our tent and attacked us. They beat my father to death at the time and dragged my mom somewhere. I never saw her again. It appeared that none of the locals took the story seriously. They thought we were just migrants in search of a better life. A month later, Vermont White came to power. Wow, okay. Can I call somebody? Oh, hello. <laughs> Ooh, I know. Um, could you shut the door <laughs> before we're discovering? Oh, you. Let's see, who, who can we call? Oh dear. Phone line must be cut. Can I try again? Nope. Okay. Let's see let's see what's up here. We aren't open yet. If you need a room, go upstairs. Excuse me. Yay, stuff. Hello, good sir. Oh, hello. Where to go? What for? Hum. Okay. <laughs> I met the old man today. Looks like he already lost his marbles. However, he told me something very important about the first visitation. I need to get to that canyon, but the train will head west in a, just a week. I'll go north in the morning. It will be faster this way. Well, we have two vacant rooms. 
The first is to the right, but it needs cleaning. Some crazy nut left there. <laughs> lived there. But an adjacent lodging outside. And an adjacent lodging outside. But there's a leak there. You might look around. I already did. <laughs> Maybe I should have asked first. Oh well. Okay, let's go meet Adam. Oh, what's his name? Damn it. That Adam guy. <laughs> Put his key in the car. He awaits you. Good afternoon, are you here for the meeting? Let me see. Well... Yes, Mr. Thornton is waiting for you. Come in. <coughs> Good evening, madam. Sir, sorry. I know, don't worry. Electron particles from the mines interfere with radio waves. That's why people don't even know what's going on. Fog protects them from the external world. Moreover, 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 what? <laughs> they still avoid these places, but that's not your concern. Hmm? Warn them if you want, but they won't believe you anyway. Let's get down to business. Time is running out. According to the contract of the council, in case of the second visit, I have to give up the factor's energy core. To charge the guardian with it. The council should have provided transport, but I think you understand that your train is the only running thing. I gave the order to attach the cargo with the energy core to your train, so it's better so it's better to hurry up. I know there's no way to jump over the blocker, but that's your problem. <laughs> Chief thanks. See you soon. Oh This is getting interesting. More interesting. Food. I need it. Give it to me. Give it all. <laughs> Give it all to me. Give all of it to me. I just can't. This has been, I have to say, that I'm, I'm sorry about this episode being so, so much narrative, but I, I think it will be better if I stop here. Eh? Routes to the north are cancelled. It's so boring with hard work. Oh, he's a, he's a train driver, like me. Oh, there's a go. Yes! You coming with me, sir? The cargo is already attached. Have a nice day. Um, thank you for watching this video. Uh, it might have been heavily narrative, but I mean, <laughs> I can't help it. Next time there will be more action, hopefully. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.